What's going on crew? Today we're gonna to learn about how to get structured data out of your language model. Now LangChain provides a new uh, functionality where you can actually instruct the data format that you would like to uh, get from your language model. And if your language model follows your instructions, which we're getting better at every day, it'll give you the format you're looking at. So the example I wanna step through today is dirty data. And as we all know, sometimes in our CRMs, specifically with industry data, it can get a little messy sometimes, especially if there's user input. So what I wanna do is I wanna take a list of user input industries and I wanna find the best match against a standardized list. And in this case, we're gonna look at LinkedIn data. Here's the output that we're actually gonna be doing in this tutorial. You're gonna take an input industry, which is gonna be dirty data within your CRM. You can do this for whatever type of dirty data you want. And then you can do your standardized industry. So you have a list of canonical industries that you actually wanna match up against. And then we're gonna show you how to map them one for one. So in this case, we have airlines, capital Z, and we're going to map it to transportation and logistics, which is super cool. Now, the reason why I love this example is because there are so many examples of unstructured data that needs to be structured so people can take advantage of it. And if you have the ability to take this unstructured data or dirty data or whatever it may be and clean it up for other people, that's an opportunity for you to um, provide value to others. And when you do provide value to others, there's an opportunity for monetization on top of that value if you so choose so. So uh, this is a really awesome way that you may be able to make a little bit of money um, using these language models. All right, now on the code side of the house, we're first gonna start off by importing, uh, well, a whole bunch of packages. If you have any specific questions on these, let me know, but we're gonna run through, run through all of them. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, uh, initialize my language model. And in this case, I'm gonna use the chat open AI model that LangChain provides a wrapper for. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one is because it is 10 times cheaper as DaVinci. Uh, and uh, GPT-4 just came out and I imagine I might be using that a little bit later, but uh, not quite yet. I'm setting temperature at zero because I don't want a lot of creativity in my responses. I just want the structured uh, output. And uh, I found that temperature equals zero helps with a little bit of this. And I'm gonna give it my uh, open API key. Now here's where the interesting part comes in. So up here we imported our output parsers, which is gonna be how to structure our data. And we have a structured output parser and a response schema. Now the interesting part here is the response schema, because what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna create a variable and it's gonna be a list of different response schema objects. And in this case, you're gonna specify the name of the, this is basically the key in your JSON, and then you're gonna give it a description. And this description is gonna be um, a language or a user-friendly um, way of describing what this uh, key is that you're describing, so in this name. Now, in my case, I wanna take an input industry and I wanna find a standardized match as the output industry. Uh, well, so input industry, this is the input industry from the user. This will be the user input. And the reason why I'm having these two together is because I wanna be able to map them later within my CRM. And then the standardized industry, this is an industry you feel mo is most closely matched to the user input. Nice, awesome. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our uh, output parser ready. And uh, this output parser basically takes the structure that we just had beforehand with our response schemas up above and gets it ready. Now, I wanted to show you what get it ready actually means. And what it's gonna do is basically create a prompt template for us, but it's gonna um, be a specific, uh, well, let me just show you. We go ahead and run this. And it says, the output should be a markdown code snippet formatted in the following schema. And then it gives the example about what it is and it takes our uh, inputs that we had up above and it gives us a nice properly formatted string that we can then pass to our language model. And underneath the covers, this is basically just a prompt template. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, my kind of parent template, if you will, that that um, formatted output will, string will be uh, insert into. So you'll be given a series of industry names from a user. Find the best corresponding match on the list of standardized names. The closest match will be the one with the closest semantic meaning, not just string similarity. So there's a lot of fuzzy matching out there that just matches on strings, but what's cool about the language model is we can actually get uh, more meaningful matches, even if the strings aren't matched together, okay? And so here's the format instructions that we had up above. This will be this piece right here. And then I'm saying wrap your final output with a closed and open brackets, a list of JSON objects. Now I did this a few times and I was noticing that the library in its current state right now had a bit of a hard time parsing multiple outputs. And so I added this line in here and we'll get into that in a sec. So then we have uh, industry input 
and then we have the user industries, and then we have standardized industries, and then we have our list of standardized industries, which I'll show you in a second right here. Uh, and then your response and bring that out right there. And then here is where we're creating our chat prompt template. So this will be different if you're using the normal text in, text out uh, language models like uh, DaVinci here. But so we have just one message within our um, template and it's gonna be a human prompt uh, message from template and we're gonna pass in the template that we just made up above right here. So it'll pass in these strings. And then the input variables are gonna be user industries, which I'll show you in just a second. This is the user input. We're also gonna pass our standardized industries. So these are the lists of the, um, well, the standardized ones that we wanna look at. And then the partial variables is gonna be the format instructions. And so this is the new part where we actually are gonna pass our format instructions right here. And it'll be this um, piece of information right there. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a list of standardized names. I've already downloaded the LinkedIn. In fact, I'm just going to do LinkedIn Industries to start right now. Uh, and I forget that what the file name is called. But this is the list of LinkedIn Industries that I was just showing you on the previous page that I um, uh, scraped. And so we can go and take a look at these. And right now, there's probably a little bit of prompt engineering I could do to fix this, but I'm just joining all those industry names and separating them by a comma. So this will get input in our um, template as well. And then for user input, I'm going to pass in a bunch of dirty industry names. And in this case, I'm doing airlines, capital Z, airline, aviation, planes that fly, farming, bread, see what that does, Wi-Fi networks, and then Twitter media agency. So you can imagine that this would be all the dirty um, industry names from your CRM. And then we're going to get our input. And the input is going to be the prompt that we just had made above, which is going to be our prompt template. And it's going to actually format the prompt. And this means it's going to insert the values that we uh, gave it above. And so here, we're going to give it the user input, which is the list of dirty names. We're going to give it the list of standardized industries, which is the uh, this list right here. And then it already has the format instructions. And so let me go ahead and run this. And we can actually see what the deal is. Oh, prompt is not defined, of course. There we go. So this is the actual prompt that is going to get passed to your language model. So there's one message that's getting sent because it's a chat format and the message is a human message. So here's the actual message that will get sent over there. And you can see that our format instructions have been placed in there. We have our user input and we have our standardized industry. And then we have a section for your response. Okay. Now here is where the magic actually happens. We're gonna call chat model, we're gonna give it the input up above, and then this is just gonna put it in a message format that's easily digestible by the uh, language model. Cool, what we can see is, is if we run this, we get in response, we get an AI message in response, which is expected because it's not a human message, and we get a really cool list of JSON objects. So all of a sudden we have input industry, and then we have what the user inputted, and then we have standardized industry, so transportation and uh, logistics, because that is the closest match from our list up above. Now before we go through all these, um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to parse this content a little bit so that I can make it easier to work with. And I noticed that there was a small bug within the uh, LangChain library that caused some parsing issues. And so in this case, I wrote a quick if statement to help us with parsing. You may not have this problem, but I suggest that you go uh, dig into where the parsing problem is if you do have an issue. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to say structured data, and I'm, I'm going to load up the uh, JSON output that we just had. So then now we just turned it from a string into something that we can actually work with here. So we just loaded up the JSON. And what um, an easier way to look at this, because this is kind of difficult to look at, I like working with pandas. And so I'm just going to create a quick pandas data frame from it. And let me go ahead and zoom in here. And what we can see is we can see our list of input industries with our list of standardized industries. So we have airlines to transportation and logistic. Airline, uh, aviation and planes that fly all goes to transportations and logistics, which looks good to me. Farming, agriculture, bread, consumer goods. Mm, I mean, there might have been a better one up there, but I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Um, Wi-Fi networks. Ne yep, that looks good. And then Twitter media agency, media and communications. Yeah. That looks pretty good to me. So we just successfully mapped our really dirty data into a standardized list using a language model. Another thing I wanted to show is adding one more column to this that would be might be interesting for you. So as you can see here, there's various levels of confidence that I have in these uh, mappings here. So what I want to do is I want the LLM to tell me how confident it is in its own mapping. So I'm going to go back up to the top here and I'm going to add a row to my response schema. And this row is going to be a uh, match score. And so a score of zero to 100 of how close you think the match is between the user input and your match. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and let's run this all the way down. 
I love doing this, just clicking, 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 clicking. Same thing as beforehand, I'm not gonna review the previous content. And there we go, we finally get some matches for what, uh, or the scores of what we think the matches are. So let's see the highest one that we have here. So it has the highest confidence that aviation is matching to transportation and logistics. Yeah, all right. Now, if you were gonna do this in production, you don't wanna call uh, the LLM every single time you have an industry name. You wanna to start to build up a little bit of a proprietary data set that you can use on your own. So if you were gonna do this in production, my suggestion would be, would be look at the incoming uh, industries from the user or from your CRM and then match against your database of values you've already mapped. So I would go ahead and create a small database with these values right here so that if I find a value for existing ones, save an API call and get your results back from the database. So you don't have to go spend money on an open AI API call. Uh, for new ones, batch them together for your LLM to return back to you. Um, and that's how you get the structured output from there. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm really excited to see how you're gonna use this because not only are we just getting nice poetry out of the language model now, but we're actually getting some really structured data that can do work for us and really clean up some data. Thanks, crew. I'll see you later.